Most artists will tell you they have that one thing that inspires them to create. They call it their muse. And in this week's Montana Made, MTN's Chet Lehman visits a Gallatin Valley jeweler who's making muse into 120 miles long with roots deep in Yellowstone National Park. The Gallatin River begins in Yellowstone National Park and 120 miles later ends as the third piece of the triad that forms the Missouri River. It also flows through every piece of jewelry that comes from this converted shipping container on its banks west of Bozeman. I recycle everything. So I find old sterling and cut it up and reuse it and transform it into something you would never recognize what it was to begin with. But uh, so yesterday I cut a piece out of this, took it down to the river and hammered out a little bit of a, a river rock texture for the inside of this one. I can do inside or outside, but being on the river is a really big thing to me. It's really important. That's just the beginning for this salvage serving tray on its way to becoming a work of art. Using heat and the hammer and maintaining an intimate relationship with the silver, the transformation continues. It kind of carries the spirit of the river with it too and I, I believe that. I think that the things that you make when you make things carry with them the place where they're made and kind of the spirit of the area that you're in and the things that you do to them as well. Manipulating the metal is an imperfect science. Pounding, Different things, and that's punching, what here, is that and most importantly, pausing know about them. to I listen to like the silver to speak. Piece that I think imperfection is way more interesting than anything perfect. So. Yet it becomes perfectly unique. No two pieces are alike. Again, the influence of the river always driving the creation. Every time it, it's so cold out here and there's so much snow and it is so beautiful and things are really sparkly. So in the winter time, I'll tend to maybe use a little bit more of my gemstones than I do in the summertime. Although in the summertime, the color is what inspires me there from all the flowers and the things there. But the water, the rocks, that is, um, that's really my driving passion, I would say. And that driving passion transformed a slice of silver plate into a metallic work of art. When you've made something and it's personal to them or meaningful to them or they just like it, it's just something they enjoy wearing, that's, that's the reward. With her shipping container studio on the banks of the river and her winter home high in the trees above, the Gallatin River will continue to flow through her life and her art and keep Cynthia out west. Along the Gallatin River, Chet Lehman, MTN News. Cynthia's jewelry can be found in a couple galleries in the Gallatin Valley and as far away as Park City, Utah. Head to our websites if you'd like other ways to reach her. And yes, during the winter, she and her husband do live in that treehouse. <laughs>